Hey everybody and welcome back to uh, UE5 BP Guru. Um, I know I keep saying I am going to um, work on this ladder. It, it's getting there. I'll show you kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, it is all kind of semi working. It's very, very close. Um, if I hit Q, it hits the ladder. He goes up and he just it's getting there but also like there's a little bit of like clipping issue or something that's like stopping it from it's just it's just very broken so it's getting there as soon as i fixed it i will do my tutorial on it um i'm probably going to just start again with that uh the code and, and hopefully that'll fix it and we'll be able to do our tutorial but today i'm just going to cover uh something i was thinking about i really wanted to do a room in um the game kind of like um a bridge kind of room where like there's obviously lots of computers around and there's like big windows and and you know the space station's kind of control room if you will um and i wanted to have this kind of big kind of glowing sort of orb of the planet that we're in and so i thought i'd just start to kind of create that functionality uh you can play around with the look i might even still play around with it a little bit more but it is very cool uh, I've added a planet texture on there. You can get this pretty much anywhere off the internet. Um, I'll see if I can find the link and I'll put it in the description. If not, just talk to me on Discord and I'll send you this file I've got here. This is just our planet, but obviously when I eventually make a planet that is within the story, I'll update it to be the same as this. So, uh, oh, let's go straight down to it. First of all, create a material. I'll just call this hologram, HG map for hologram map, um, and open it up. Uh, okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the uh, material itself and change it to translucent. Nice and easy peasy. Uh, this shouldn't be the hardest tutorial, but um, we'll, we'll go through it step by step anyway. We wanna find our absolute world position. Sorry, my typing is clearly off today, uh, so please bear with me. Uh, then we want to hold down D and get a divide. We also want to hold down S and get a parameter. Call this divide 01. And the reason we're calling this divide 01 is because uh, we're going to have two of them uh, running simultaneously. Now, I find uh, that this works best for me at 1.5. But because we're creating a parameter, you can mess around with it how you, however you want. Right click, get a mask. We want a component mask. Change the component to um, G and B, not R and, uh, R and G. Then we want to get hold down P, get a pan R. Chuck that into the coordinates. But set the pan R Y speed to 3.5. Again, mess around with these figures as much as you like. Generate, uh, get a generated blend and plug this one into input coordinates. Then we want to get another scalar. Call this one width 0, 01. Set this to 0 0.4 and plug that into the width. Copy all of that and paste it down. Change those parameter names to width uh, 02 and divide 02. Oh, gosh. What is wrong with me today? Divide 02. We'll leave the width as is, but change the divide to something like, I'd say 15, personally. Uh, and then we want to add those together. You'll see the effect in a minute it's had doing all of this. So add those together, start the preview node, and you should see it in the left-hand corner. There we go. You can already see the effect that we're having on our material. Uh, that's going to be obviously that kind of running effect you get. Now, we kind of want to get, we want to hold down 3, get a texture coordinate, and we then also want to hold down T and get a texture sample. Uh, and then we want to hold down P and get another pan R. Set the pan R to uh, in the X at 0 0.05. Plug that into the UV. 
in the color coordinates now again this is where it kind of comes down to you can have it as whatever you want it to be i always go for blue but let's go for like i don't know something a little bit different let's go for a nice green color minty green color there you go that always looks good for holograms right and then your texture sample now if you're not going to go for a planet and you just want a holographic texture do the uh it always comes in the engine just do uh default texture uh, if you spell it right, unlike me, uh, scroll down a bit, you should have a default texture. Uh, go for the blank one like this. Um, so yeah, if you just want a normal hologram that you can add to anything, go for that. If you want the uh, planet, uh, you'll want a black and white earth map like so. Uh, and then you'll see it again, you'll see the effect in a moment that it's having. Uh, plug those in together in a multiply. Uh, then we want to branch off and get a blend overlay. There we go. Add those two together and then preview. And you should have something that looks like a minty green hologram. There we go. And you can just see the earth text coming through uh, like so. Okay. It'll look a bit kind of mushed together. But when you get it out there, it'll look absolutely fine. Next thing we want to do is come down and get a Fresnel function. It's in the MISC like so and all we need to do is get a hold down s and get a panel and we want it to be called power and we'll set that just to 1.5 1. 1. and chuck that into the power node the next thing we want to do is get a text coordinate texture coordinate and we want a screen position yep yeah. And we want to get a couple of multiplies and a panel. Uh, so add the first texture uh, coordinate into the first multiply and we want to set the second one to 0 0.1 uh, and then plug that into A. Then we want to stick our viewport UV into the second multiply and then we want to add that multiply into that panel. Uh, and we want to set our X. No, we don't want to set our Y to 0 0.02. Uh, and then we want to add that into a texture. Now, Unreal comes with uh, an extra uh, one of these. So we want to get... It's called... Oh, my brain's gone. It's called... Perlin noise texture comes free in the kit just add that in uh, we then want to multiply we want two more multiplies we want to add the Fresnel into the A we want to add this one into the B and then we want to add this into the A and then we want to get ourselves one more uh, parameter for now and it's called glowing and set this pretty high I'd say set this to like something like 30 and then plug that into the B like so okay it's looking a bit all messy but it's now all going to come together I promise let's uh, just tidy things up a little bit um, okay we to finish off we just need let's say a multiply and an add and one more scalar this should be the last one and we'll call this one opacity we won't plug that in just yet so first of all we want to multiply that by the blend overlay like so we then want to add that back in on top of our blend overlay and then put that into the emissive and then let's stop previewing and we should see roughly what our final product looks like and there you go there you have it it looks pretty good uh, in the opacity let's put 0 0.4 and then plug that in and that will definitely be our final product then. 
And there it is. It's done. And if we just go to our... Oh, we better save it first. Oh, save. Don't forget to save, of course. If it crashes, you'll lose everything. So save at every opportunity. And then we can drop this on top of our sphere. And it's not... Nothing's changed. It's just the color. And as you can see, we can see everything spinning around. Lovely. Jubbly. Um, and you can set that to any color and of course if you just as an added extra bonus tip if you right click and create a material instance um, you can add that on there and then instead you can literally open this up um, and where is it there it is uh, you can then change these, um, these features and if you really want to go an extra step forward you could convert these to parameters, call this color, call this uh, convert to parameter, and just call this texture, like so. Uh, and then when you save that, it'll update. And then you can change the color on the fly uh, and the texture if you really wanted to. Uh, if you wanted to maybe um, uh, change it as you go. It shouldn't take two seconds to update. Um, and then if you come into here, you can literally, just as I said on the fly, just change the color. I don't know, make it like a hot pink. Let's go. <laughs> and then uh, and you've got yourself a pink holographic. So it is really, really good. It's a really cool um, feature. And I'm really excited to start putting this in the world. Uh, I'm really looking forward to adding in that... Um, section don't ask me what this horrible thing was I made I just wanted to make it look like it was on some form of like a machine <laughs> like a projector machine um, but yeah um, that was a very hopefully a very simple tutorial for you guys and, and hopefully you enjoyed it something a little bit different uh, I like doing these different tutorials I know I keep promising to do the ladder functionality I'm just trying to get it working I'm doing something wrong and I really don't know what I'm doing uh, wrong so uh, give me a few days and I'll, I will get it out. But um, but yeah, hopefully this is a little bit different. You've enjoyed this. If you have any questions or any tutorials you want covered, please let me know in the comments. Uh, don't forget to leave a lot, lot, lot of like. And if you've really enjoyed yourself, hit that subscribe button. It's completely free to do. And you can always change your mind down the line. Uh, so thanks so much guys for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.